This is that time of year when many of us set aside time to plan for the upcoming year. We evaluate what we accomplished this year. We look at our goals. We think about what we didn't accomplish. And we focus on making the adjustments as we prepare for the upcoming year. But some of us, when we look at what we accomplished or didn't accomplish, we put our attention exclusively on the losses. And this is where I want to focus my attention to leverage the lesson from the losses, but also use that to help you to improve in the future. This is why I'm saying this, because some people, when they focus on what didn't happen, what didn't go well, they stay where they are. And here's the worst thing. They repeat the same pattern that put them in the position that they are in currently. They do that in the future. But what I want to do is encourage you, because this is my whole thing, empower you to be your best, even when you have the losses. So you have to think of life as an infinite game, right? It's not an event. It's this long journey with many adventures. You heard this before, you know, there's ups and downs, positive and negative times. By the way, I don't like to use good and bad. I use, I like to use positive and negative because both of them can benefit you. It just depends on how you learn the lesson. Anyway, it's a long adventure, right? And there are setbacks at times. I like to think about life in terms of when I'm playing a game with my family. We like to play games. I don't know about your family. And when my daughter and I are playing a game together and we're on the same team, since I have the heart of a teacher, I like to teach her lessons. And one of the lessons I like to teach her is that whatever we do on this board game, it's going to affect both of us, positive or negative. But don't be discouraged if we roll the dice and something happens and we think, oh, that's not a good move. We're going to learn from it. It's going to help us to make adjustments. It's going to help us to do things together as long as we have each other's best interests at heart. You have to think of life as an infinite game. Even when you have setbacks and challenges and when you roll the dice in your experience and you don't get the number that you want, as long as you have someone on your team, which by the way, there are many people on your team because nobody succeeds by themselves. As long as you have people who are interested in your best, you will succeed. My aquatic strength coach put it this way. He trains athletes who are trying to get to the most elite level in their performance. And he shared with me the difference between a good athlete and an elite athlete. And he said in the off season, okay, which I consider this time of year, by the way, my off season, when people are relaxing, taking vacation time, my clients are quiet, the budgets are spent. I apply this philosophy to my mindset. So he said the difference between a good athlete and an elite athlete, the elite athlete not only takes rest, but he or she begins to put in that extra work, especially in those areas where they need to improve. And they focus their energy on that as though they are still playing the game. Now, I didn't say they didn't take rest but they, they, they channel their energy into this area where they know that in the upcoming season, if they don't work on this now, they will not be prepared for these opportunities that will lead to their success. So you have to prepare yourself in your off season. So in those times when, when you are not working or in those times when you have a moment to reflect, and think about, man, what do I need to do to help me to overcome this hurdle that happened in this current year? Because in the next year, I want to do something different. This is the time to do it if you want to get to the next level in your experience. And then finally, you have to evaluate and constantly make adjustments. I had this pain one time in my body and it just would not go away. I tried everything. I tried heat, uh, cold compressors. I stretch continuously, you know, I make tweaks to my diet. You know, I did everything you should do to make the pain go away. Even did biofeedback, so I changed my mindset. So it was like that. 
It didn't change until I went to the chiropractor and I made an adjustment. <laughs> he evaluated my situation and he said, oh, we got to make an adjustment. This is true about life. You have to make adjustments consistently. I don't understand why some people, they will complain about their problems and their issues. They will put all the energy into, why am I not here in my career? Why is my marriage like this? Why are my finances like this? But they won't put the energy into making the adjustment. Hmm. At one point in time, I was $100,000 in debt. I didn't have a high salary and it appeared to be bleak. There was no end in sight. However, there's one thing I could do, and this is the power you have when you evaluate your situation and you say, I can make an adjustment. What did I do? I went to the Ramsey's solutions team and I went through financial peace and they helped me to relinquish all of my debt. Now I'm debt free. I evaluate my situation. I was honest. I was upfront with myself and I made the adjustment. Yeah.